In the world of Game of Thrones, the wildlings called her Kissed by Fire, a symbol of her fierce spirit and fiery red hair. But for actress Rose Leslie, this isn't fantasy. She is a real-life descendant of Scottish nobility, born and raised in a castle, and her combination of natural red hair and blue eyes is rarer than any dragon's egg. This stunning look is considered the genetic signature of the ancient Celts. But what is the true origin of this 0.17% genetic combination? The answer, revealed by DNA, is a story of ancient migrations, Ice Age survivors, and a genetic quirk that science is just beginning to solve. So what is the secret behind the world's most captivating genetic trait? And are the people who carry it truly a vanishing breed? Stay with me, because the science behind Rose Leslie's Celtic DNA is even more fascinating than the myths of Westeros. Picture this. 10,000 years ago, as the last Ice Age retreats, small bands of hunter-gatherers emerge from their refuges in what is now Spain and southern France. The mist rolls across ancient forests as these pale-skinned people venture north, carrying in their genes a mutation that will one day paint the landscapes of Ireland and Scotland with fire. The cold Atlantic winds whip across rocky coastlines, where Celtic warriors will one day stand, their red hair blazing like torches against the gray sky. But this isn't just about beauty. This is about survival, adaptation, and a genetic lottery that created one of the rarest human phenotypes on Earth. In the misty highlands of Scotland, where Rose Leslie's ancestors built their castles, the combination of red hair and blue eyes became a symbol of Celtic identity. But the true story of how these genes came together is written in ancient DNA, and it's more complex than any medieval legend. In recent years, several groundbreaking studies have finally decoded the genetic mystery behind red hair and blue eyes. According to research published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology, red hair is caused by mutations in the MC1R gene on chromosome 16, which disrupts melanin production and creates the distinctive copper and auburn shades we see in Celtic populations. But here's where it gets fascinating. Studies from the University of Copenhagen reveal that blue eyes result from a completely different genetic mechanism, a mutation in the HERC2 gene that regulates the OCA2 gene, effectively turning off brown pigment production in the iris. A team led by Dr. Hans Eiberg discovered that all blue-eyed people share a common ancestor who lived near the Black Sea around 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. This means every blue-eyed person on Earth is related through this single ancient mutation. How did two completely separate genetic mutations from different times and places come together to create the rarest human phenotype? And why did this combination become so concentrated in Celtic populations? The story begins with two separate genetic journeys across ancient Europe. According to research from the Max Planck Institute, the blue eye mutation spread from the Black Sea region through Neolithic farmers who migrated across Europe around 8,000 years ago. Meanwhile, studies published in Current Biology show that red hair mutations evolved independently in Western Europe, possibly as an adaptation to low light conditions that helped with vitamin D synthesis in northern climates. Research from Trinity College Dublin reveals that when Bronze Age steppe migrants reached the British Isles around 2500 BC, they were encountered and mixed with these earlier populations, creating the genetic foundation for Celtic culture. 
but the magic happened in isolation. According to population genetic studies, the geographic isolation of Ireland, Scotland, and Wales allowed these rare recessive traits to persist and concentrate in ways that would have been impossible in larger, more connected populations. Here's where the story takes an incredible turn. The reason this combination is so Celtic isn't because it's uniquely ancient to them, but because the British Isles were the site of a perfect genetic storm. Think about the sheer improbability. The blue eye mutation, originating from a single person thousands of kilometers away near the Black Sea, had to travel across Europe. The red hair mutations, which appeared independently, had to survive for millennia as rare, recessive traits. Then, in the relative isolation of Ireland and Scotland, these two separate and rare genetic quirks finally met on a large scale. Genetic drift and perhaps even cultural selection in these smaller populations allowed this 0.17% global rarity to become a common and iconic local feature. Even more surprising, research reveals that some Neanderthal populations also carried red hair mutations, but these are completely different from the Celtic variants. The red hair we see today is a unique feature that evolved independently in modern humans, making its journey to the Celtic world even more remarkable. So the Celtic DNA mystery isn't a simple story of ancient inheritance, it's the story of an extraordinary coincidence where two rare genes found the perfect isolated sanctuary to flourish together, creating one of the most striking looks in human history. Rose Lethley isn't the only celebrity whose genetics tell this story. Actor Damien Lewis, with his striking red hair and blue eyes, represents the same rare genetic combination that appears in less than 0.17% of the global population. Or consider the case of Prince Harry. His red hair comes from the Spencer family line, demonstrating how these recessive traits can hide for generations before suddenly appearing in unexpected places. But the most fascinating examples come from genetic testing. In populations like the Scots and Irish, it's estimated that up to 40% of people are secret carriers of the red hair gene, meaning they could potentially have red-haired children without being redheads themselves. Not all geneticists agree on the evolutionary advantages of red hair and blue eyes. Dr. Jonathan Rees from the University of Edinburgh argues that red hair may actually be disadvantageous due to increased sun sensitivity and cancer risk. However, Dr. Rosalind Harding from Oxford University maintains that red hair provided crucial vitamin D synthesis advantages in low-light northern environments, making it an adaptive trait. The debate centers on whether these traits represent adaptive evolution or simply genetic drift in isolated populations. Current evidence suggests both factors played a role. We must also acknowledge the social implications. The fetishization of red hair and blue eyes has historical connections to racial theories that have no scientific basis. Genetic diversity should be celebrated, not ranked. Today, when people take DNA tests, they often discover unexpected Celtic ancestry through red hair gene variants, even if they don't express the trait themselves. This research is revolutionizing our understanding of human pigmentation and adaptation. It shows that the traits we consider typically Celtic are actually the result of complex population dynamics and incredible genetic coincidence. Modern studies of UV sensitivity and vitamin D metabolism in red-haired populations are providing insights into human adaptation to different environments, 
and the medical implications of genetic variants. The Celtic DNA story reminds us that human beauty comes in infinite varieties, each with its own evolutionary history and cultural significance. Genetic rarity doesn't determine human worth. It simply adds to the magnificent diversity of our species. So what does the Celtic DNA mystery tell us about red hair and blue eyes? It reveals that one of the world's most iconic looks is the result of a cosmic coincidence, a perfect storm of separate, rare genes that found a safe harbor in the isolated corners of Europe. Rose Leslie's stunning combination represents not just Celtic heritage, but the beautiful complexity of human genetic diversity, a reminder that rarity makes us special, not superior. This raises a profound question. What other human traits are the result of improbable ancient journeys and genetic chance? And how do our cultural myths shape our understanding of human identity? Do you carry Celtic genes for red hair or blue eyes? Have you discovered unexpected connections to Irish or Scottish ancestry? Share your genetic discoveries in the comments. And if this journey into Celtic DNA fascinated you, subscribe for more stories that reveal the science behind human beauty and diversity.